Like many people, a triad woman kept lots of her belongings in a storage unit. Then one day, it was all in a dumpster. All of her stuff was tossed in the trash, even though she was making payments. And she's not the only one. She contacted Who Wants to Know's Kevin Kennedy to get involved. For more than four years, we have moved into a smaller house. Phyllis Morris rented this storage unit. And I was paying like two months ahead every month. A couple years ago, 10 Federal took over. I got an email about renew signing to renew my lease, so I signed it and sent it back. Everything apparently going fine until early last year. I was in shock. I drove around thinking that I was at the wrong row of storage facilities. Phyllis wasn't in the wrong spot. Two days after making a payment, there was a problem. My door was open, everything was gone. All the way down, both sides, everything gone. Her unit opened and emptied by 10 Federal. Her possessions thrown in a dumpster and hauled off. I was devastated. I didn't know what to do, so I just called a friend and she came over here and I'm like, I don't know what to do. Phyllis not alone. Apparently several people had their items thrown out. And there were people walking around like they didn't know what was going on. And I'm like, what happened? And they said that they were redoing them or tearing them down. And I said, did you find out? Did you know about this? And they said no. We reached out to 10 Federal and asked what happened. A representative telling us Phyllis was sent an email to vacate the property 45 days earlier. I've saved every single thing. I've got all my payment receipts. I've got the letter where I signed to renew my lease. I've got everything. There is no at document telling me that they I need to get my stuff out of here. We again reached out to 10 Federal, asked to see a copy of the email, and were told they don't share communications with third parties. 10 Federal telling Phyllis to call their insurance company. And I called numerous times, and they finally called me back, and they said they are not going to be responsible for this company's stupidity. Now, remember when we said others also lost everything? This is Norma Harris. Everybody I'm talking to is giving me a different story. One saying they don't know what's going on. One saying it's a mix, you know, it's mixed up. Just like Phyllis, her unit was emptied, nothing left. I wanted to cry because it was everything I owned. Norma's showing us some paperwork. Apparently 10 Federal is still accepting rent payments three months after the company hauled her stuff away. I know it's gone. I mean, my pictures of me and my grandkids, I know stuff like that, they throw in the trash. There ain't nothing they gonna keep. We again reached out to 10 Federal for answers. After initially getting back to us saying it didn't have a tenant with that name, we sent additional documentation. We emailed four more times, including last week, but have never heard back. Norma telling us 10 Federal did make her an initial offer, a refund for one month and $1,000. I said, that's a slap in my face. I say my refrigerator was more than $1,000 by itself. As for Phyllis, maybe those initial calls we made did make a difference. 10 Federal agreed to pay her an amount she felt comfortable with. Norma, however, is still in a battle to get back what she thinks is fair. Kevin Kennedy, two wants to know.